Hello, my name is Dr. Nicole Mashburn, and I will be your instructor for Human Anatomy uh, 2, it's Bio 202. So welcome back if you had me for 201, and welcome if you're one of my new students. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, then you've figured out how to get into Blackboard, which is great. New semester, we have A numbers instead of C numbers now, so I anticipate a few issues, but since you're watching this, you were able to get in. Uh, just going to give you a quick orientation to the course. Uh, since you've had 201, a lot of it should be familiar to you. Most of our instructors set up things very similarly. Uh, but just quickly show you where things are um, and what you need to do. So let me click on the course. Uh, the first thing that you'll come to will be announcements. Make sure you read those. I post in announcements at least once a week, usually more than that. Uh, it may be due dates. It may be updates. Uh, the campus is going to be closed. Testing centers are closing. Um, if there's something that nobody's under, or people are not understanding, like a particular topic I get a lot of emails on, I may post an announcement. So be sure to check those announcements um, every week. I'm going to click on course information, which you have because you're watching this video. So just scroll through the course information. Uh, most of this are probably very familiar to, to you because most instructors have something similar uh, in each course. Um, so you're watching my orientation video. If you want to know more about me, there's a quick video that you can watch about me and my hobbies and my family. Um, you want to read both the Calhoun policies and procedures and the syllabus. Uh, so simply click and this is what all students need to know. This is things that are campus-wide, so you want to make sure you read all of these things if you've not read that in the past. And this is the syllabus for my particular course. So I'm going to click on that and just hit some highlights. Um, I'm not going to read it to you because obviously you can read. Uh, but things to look for and things uh, that you'll need to pay attention to. Obviously, it has my name and where I'm located and how to contact me. You'll want to use Calhoun email. I do have a phone. Um, I do have class. I'm in class uh, this semester on Mondays and Wednesdays from like 12 to 4. So typically I'm in my office on Tuesdays and Thursdays because Monday and Wednesday mornings I may be in the lab getting things ready. So Tuesdays and Thursdays I should be in my office. You can always call me, set up an appointment, email me, set up an appointment, and um, we can meet if you need to. Um, we can also meet virtually, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, this is, talks about the course, what the prereqs are, the textbook. Um, you don't need to buy a lab guide. All that's going to be provided for you in the course. Obviously, you need Blackboard. It tells you how you're going to approach the course. Mostly, it's videos. Um, there's going to be some homework and quizzes, but mostly watch videos. Um, there's some discussion boards. Um, the testing policies, how you test. We'll go over some of that in just a minute. Your learning objectives. Basically, this course is going to talk about all the systems that you didn't cover in 201. We're going to do the blood, the lymphatics, the immunity, heart, lungs, respiratory, digestive, reproductive. Maybe that's it. There's a lot. <laughs> um, here's your grading uh, plan. Everybody wants to know about that. Uh, mostly exams, 80% exams. You have lab tests and lecture tests. You have some homework, some quizzes, and a project. Uh, the project is going to be about sexually transmitted infections. It's a really cool project. I think you'll like it, uh, but you'll get more details about that later. Uh, exams are should be similar to what you had in 201. Uh, you have lecture exams, multiple choice, um, discussion questions, all the apply questions, lab tests or fill in the blank. So you have to spell. Um, you can take your exams at home if you want to pay $30 and use HonorLock, so it's proctored, or you can come to the testing centers, but I'll show you some more information about that. Um, we have due dates, and I'll show you some about that. Uh, typical grade scale, 90, 80, 70, 60, 59, so you guys probably can figure that out. This tells you what we're going to cover. I think I got it all before. Um, uh, attendance policy. So I do take attendance. Uh, the first week you have to take the syllabus quiz. So that I have to turn that into financial aid. So make sure you take your quiz by this Friday uh, at noon. And that way I can count you present for the course and you won't get purged for not attending. Now after that, I take attendance um, every time we have a graded assignment. So when there's a due date, uh, once I get your assignment and you've made the due date, I mark you present. So I do take attendance. Um, and that is good so that if um, if I start to notice, hey, so-and-so is not showing up, they're not 
they're not logging in, they're not doing their assignments, I can contact you, I can refer you to the Star Institute, um, and figure out why you're not attending class. So I do, I do take attendance, so just make sure you get things in on time and you'll be present. No final exam. So there's five exams for each, there's an exam for each unit, so your unit five exam is your final. So there's no comprehensive final. Uh, one of the reasons I do that is because unit five covers respiratory, digestion, and acid base, and urinary. Um, and you really can't understand those units or those systems if you don't understand how blood works, how endocrine works. Um, so it's comprehensive just because you can't cover those systems unless you've covered the previous ones. So unit five is, is just comprehensive uh, by matter of, of the nature of it. Um, email, basically, that's how once you communicate with me. I'm really good. I get it on the phone. So, you know, I'll email you back. Uh, but I will say this. Um, I do like to go to bed early. So if you email me like after eight o'clock, I've probably, you know, got my glass of wine, I'm decompressing, and I may not check it. So if you email me after 8, just assume that it'll be the next day before I get back to you. Um, I also, on the weekends, I tend to be outside a lot. I, I like to go hiking and boating and things like that, so I could be out of range. So if you email me on a Saturday or Sunday, um, again, it may be a couple of hours before I'm back in cell phone range so that I can get that email. But it's, again, I check it every day, and I'll, I'll email you as soon as I can. Now, if you leave me a voicemail on my phone, I'm in my office uh, every Monday through Thursday, some Fridays, depending on if um, I've got a committee meeting, because sometimes I'm, I'm here, but I've got other obligations. So I usually return my voicemails on Monday through Thursday. Okay, uh, here's some testing center information. We're going to talk about testing in just a minute, but uh, here's a website if you need more information about that. And here's the schedule. So I've basically listed everything uh, uh, that's going to have a grade associated with it and when it's due. So this is your contract with me. Um, I've given you due dates ahead of time. So you can look ahead and figure out um, if you need to take something ahead. I do allow my students to work ahead. Um, I just don't like you to get behind. So I put everything out there at the first of the semester so you can make a schedule and get everything turned in on time. Um, please notice these things are due at noon, okay, so 11.59 a.m., not midnight, uh, so whenever there's a due date, it's due at noon, and so somebody's going to say, oh, work, I can't do it, do it the day before, <laughs> okay, the reason it's due at noon is, uh, in actuality, I would like to have these done on, say, for example, this exams are due on Wednesday, so if you're at home uh, at, on Wednesday night doing it from auto lock and something happens, your internet goes down, you've waited to the last minute and, you know, life happens on due dates, you can email me and I say, oh, okay, no, no problem, you still have tomorrow, okay? So if something happens, if, if, if something corrupts, a file corrupts, you never know what happens, your internet goes out, that gives you a little more time. So just plan on these due dates being the night before and use that noon on the day of the due date as your emergency just in case, okay? Because if I have the due date due at midnight, you email me, I'm not going to get it. But this gives, you know, it's a little bit of, little bit of wiggle room if I need to do something and, and, uh, and fix something for you that if it didn't work, okay? So it's really to your benefit. It may look like it's not, but it really is, okay? Because this is not my first rodeo and I've had due dates at midnight and it's a disaster. So here's your due dates. Um, now, one more thing about due dates. You do not have to do things on the due date. They can be done early. Uh, so look ahead. Uh, you'll notice I have your lab and lecture exams are due on the same day. That's a lot to take on one day. Uh, but I get it. You're online students. You have other lives. You have other obligations. If it was me and my exams were due on Thursday, I would take my lab test on Monday or Tuesday, and then I would take my lecture test on Wednesday or Thursday, um, just like we do on campus. My students don't take two tests on one day. My students come in on Monday, and they take their lab test, and on Wednesday, they take their lecture test. Um, your brain will will be fried if you try to take two major exams on the same day. But this way, I try to give you flexibility. You're online, you're adults, um, so make it work. Just know that you've got to hit those due dates, okay? All right, and if you need help, obviously email me. I am your teacher, uh, but if you need a tutor, we have all that here. We have tutoring on campus on both campuses, okay? So read the syllabus. It's pretty self-explanatory, and once you do that, there is a, um, a quiz, all right? Uh, and so, 
Where did it go? It should be there. I'm in... Did I make it? Where'd my quiz go? There it is. So click on the quiz. I had it in instructor mode. Sorry, I need to, I'll have to turn that on for you. I'll do that. So you'll click on the quiz and it will start. You hit begin and take your take your quiz. All right. So once you take your quiz, that'll mark you present. All right. Um, see, now it's showing up. I have no idea. Whiteboard is so weird. Okay, so that's why you take your test, why I give you some noon the next day, because stuff like that happens all the time. All right, so here's your course objectives. This is basically what we're going to do this semester, what we're going to cover. If you can do all this with a proficiency of 70%, you're ready for nursing school. Here's your textbook, same one you used for 201. Um, because um, this is a fall 202, and sometimes summer 201 students have been either Calhoun or somewhere else. Um, I don't use the mastering code in the fall for my 202 students just because they're coming from possibly so many different places and I don't want to make you buy um, a code for one semester. So um, if you have the ninth edition or the 10th edition or used edition or literally any a and book, it's really okay. Okay. Um, if you have this book and this code, uh, you will have access to mastering and homework. But if you don't, I'm not going to make you spend that extra money. You need a book, but it can be the ninth or 10th edition or, you know, another anatomy book. And you'll pretty much get what you need out of that. Uh, I'll provide the lab guide. You can download that from the course. Uh, this is how to communicate with me. Uh, just be adults. There's a netiquette policy that tells you, you know, let's be nice. Let's don't yell at each other. Don't use all caps. And... Um, you guys can read that. This tells you what I expect you to do, what you should expect me to do. Basically, I expect you to log in a couple of times a week and watch videos and do your homework on time. Um, follow the due dates and I will respond to you and I will keep up with my syllabus and I will follow the rules and I will email you back. So basically, we're going to be nice to each other. <laughs> okay, testing policies. So um, if you've never taken online before, uh, you can um, take your test either here on campus, either Huntsville or Decatur in the testing center, or you can test at home using OnderLock. Uh, testing at the testing center is free. OnderLock is a $30 charge for this semester. Um, all of our exams are proctored, and that just makes it fair. Uh, so that if you're taking online versus taking on campus, you know, those exams are proctored. Um, so just read through here, and you can figure out about testing at the testing center or using OnderLock. Um, the honor lock works really, really well. Uh, you have someone that's actually watching you take the exam, and then they review that. They look for anything that possibly is um, uh, could be a flag, and then they'll let me know. Now, I trust honor lock. If they flag you, then that's kind of the way it goes. So make sure you watch this this video about honor lock and and what and what to do, um, because again. You, you don't want to get flagged because it's an automatic zero on your exam. So there's no notes, there's no cell phones, there's no textbooks, no smartwatches, you know, no, nobody in the room. So again, make sure you watch that video if you want to test from home. All right, go back. And again, I said I didn't make you use mastering, um, but I did make a video. If you have that code and you want to use mastering, I'll show you how to do that. And there's a little quick video about mastering here. So again, some of my 202 students will have that code and they, and they, they like mastering, they want to do it. All right, so once you've taken your syllabus quiz, you've looked through all the course information, the stuff you want to know is in course content. So what you're going to see is a calendar. And so I try to make sure that everything that's due uh, shows up in your calendar, so all your stuff, so you can look ahead and can see that. Um, and I've turned off, right now, I've, when you first log in, you're not going to see all the units, okay? Cause, um, I've hidden units 2, 3, 4, and 5, because I don't want to, you to get lost. Um, it happens every semester. If I have everything open the first week, then people just start randomly clicking and going through all the units, and the next thing you know, somebody's trying to take a Unit 5 exam. It happens every semester. So right now, all you can see is Unit 1. Now give me a week or two, uh, and then you'll start to see Units 2, 3, 4, and 5 will start to open up. So don't freak out if you don't see them. That's intentional so that you don't get lost and nobody screws up and starts taking the wrong exam. Um, so right now, you'll click on your Unit 1. 
And they're all going to be set up the same way. Uh, you're going to have your objectives for the unit. Uh, I give you a study guide. Um, really, the objectives is the study guide, but some people like a little more detail. Um, so uh, you've got your lab list. So this is basically your lab guide. These are the things you have to be able to identify from the lab. And then I've got some questions. So um, kind of a little more detail about what you need to know. Uh, so as you're watching videos, you may want to go through and start filling out your study guide. So again, the learning objectives are, you know, that's the overall study guide. And this is just a little bit more detailed if you're, if you like to have that kind of thing. So I've broken it down into weeks. So in the first week, you'll click on that. And you just simply click through these buttons. And as you click through the buttons, videos will start to show up. And sometimes, I left this one in here on purpose today, and hopefully uh, it'll play for you. S sometimes it'll be slow. Give it a chance. If it just won't load, first thing, try Explorer, try Chrome, fi try Firefox, because it depends on your computer. Try Safari. Whatever computer you have, change the browser. If it still won't work, I've tried to make it so that there's either a downloadable file or a YouTube link. Okay, so you should have access. Uh, but before you email me or try the help desk, try changing browsers. A lot of times that fixes it. So then you go through um, and what you'll find uh, are the videos. Uh, so each, each, um, each lecture will have a video uh, for you. And so you just click through, watch the video, click through, and watch the videos. And I do have um, some notes for you, some, some um, uh, uh, PowerPoints. So if you want to click on those for note taking, you can do that as well. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. I like to take my own notes. Some people like to have some PowerPoints. So just continue clicking, 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 and you'll see all the videos. Watch those, take notes. Um, every once in a while, I'll find a link, uh, maybe a Quizlet or some kind of an extra information. So you may be taken off-site to some review activities. So watch for those. They're not for points. They're just for more information. So once you get through um, the week, keep clicking through, through. Here's another virtual blood typing kind of uh, virtual lab with some... Uh, videos okay so once you finished week one uh, there's a quiz all right you have two attempts uh, and so you'll simply click on it this is not proctored it's not timed so you hit begin uh, look at the questions and this gives you some examples of what a lab test will look like and what lecture questions look like so they're very similar to my lecture uh, and lab test so it just gives you a chance to kind of see what the exam is going to look like in kind of a a non-threatening uh, way. You've got time, uh, you can take it twice, takes a highest grade, and uh, see what that's going to look like. So you'll have a weekly quiz. Now, um, one of the things that people kind of mess up on um, is when they write in the answers um, for the lab questions, use how it's listed in the lab guide, because um, I have to key in the answer, uh, and it's, it's auto-graded, so, you know, uh, if it says name this blood cell and you say red blood cell, well, in the lab guide, it's called an erythrocyte. So if you put red blood cell, it's wrong. Erythrocyte would be correct. So make sure you're using it as listed in the lab guide. Uh, you're going to have some kind of case study in most uh, units. So you'll read the case study. And what you do is you put your answers in the discussion board. And I'm going to show you where the discussion board is. Then you go through week two, same process. There's a quiz after week two. And in the last folder, um, I've got some extra reviews if you want to do some extra review activities and then your exams. Um, again, you'll notice there's uh, what you need to do if you're a testing center tester or a honor lock tester. So make sure you're paying attention if you're going to do honor lock and watch these videos ahead of time. And these are your exams. If you're an honor lock tester, you click on the ones that say honor lock. If you're a testing center tester, you click on the ones that say respondus. Okay. So that's the way it's set up. Every unit set up exactly the same way. Okay. Go back to course content. I do have a reminder that we have tutoring, so that's for you.
And the last couple things I want to talk about um, is uh, the discussion board. I do like to know, um, I'll do that later. All right. Uh, so I want you to write an introduction. So I think I started one. Yeah, I'll start us off. So you just say I want to create a thread um, and uh, yep, create a thread and type something about yourself. And then we can all learn who you are and start to meet you. Okay. There is also a broken link one. So if you, and that happens every semester, I mean, I'm copying courses from each semester to each semester. I make new videos um, every semester, but I use old ones as well. So you'll see a mixture of old and new videos. So maybe an old one got, got broken. Let me know. Maybe the audio is not working. Just, this is a great place to say, hey, this, this link's not working and I'll, I'll fix it. Um, some of you may live nearby or you may want to have a virtual study buddy. So if you want to kind of have this as a place to meet, meet up and, and uh, maybe uh, have a study buddy. If you have particular questions about a unit, like you don't understand the concept, uh, you can um, post here. Uh, and then your case studies, this is where you're going to post your answers. So you, this is a graded discussion board. So whenever you have something that's titled homework, this is going to be the graded discussion board. All right. So um, I'll post some more about that as we get closer. The thing about these discussion boards is to get the grade, you have to post your answers and you have to review the answers of your teammates, of your classmates. So if the due date is like a Thursday, you need to post your discussion board um, answers, say on Monday, so that you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to look at other people's answers and review it. Um, so you're kind of self-grading. You're, you're posting your answers and you're looking at other students and going, oh, that's a better answer. And so you're kind of grading yourself uh, by um, evaluating other answers from other students. So the trick is you can't see everybody's answers until you post your on your own answers. So you have to post yours before you can see anybody else's. Okay, so once you've posted, reviewed somebody else's answers, then I'll, I'll grade your discussion board and you'll get that feedback. So you want to do this before the exam, obviously, so that uh, you've learned something because there will be questions about the case studies on the exams. All right. Um, okay, so if you have that code, uh, you can click on, on here. Uh, you can go to assignments and so you'll... Um, these are not worth points, they're just practice, but if you have that code, you can take advantage of that. It's going to take a while, kind of slow. Every instructor on campus is trying to make a video today. There we go. All right, so you would just uh, click there and click on the different assignments. So again, and it may be that you just have, maybe you're having a problem with a particular chapter. Maybe you understand immunity, but you don't understand lymphatics. Just do the homework on lymphatics, okay? Again, it's just for you to do or not do if you have that code. Um, the other thing, if you have that code, is you have the e-text. So if you don't, this is where you could read the textbook. So you can go in and read your textbook in a virtual world. All right. I'm a teacher. I don't have to pay an extra access code, but I'm not sure why it's telling me that today. Um, oh, because I'm in student mode. That's why. <laughs> Duh. All right. Uh, and then you have a study area. It's not going to let me do it today because it thinks I'm a student. Uh, but uh, just click on study area and there's extra quizzes and things like that. All right. Uh, again, you can watch that video that I had in course information. There's a, a lot of detail on how to do that. So guide to mastering. All right. Uh, last thing, Blackboard Collaborate. So from time to time, um, I will start a virtual classroom. Uh, so maybe on a Tuesday night, I'll say, hey, if you're available, log in, or, uh, and we'll go over some questions, or maybe a, a Thursday morning. I'll try to, you know, do, um, try to do different times throughout the semester. Um, it's hard to get everybody, obviously, to do a, a Blackboard Collaborate. What I really like is if you need to see me and we you can't come to campus, we can just do a virtual meeting. So this is just like you come into my office, you'll log into your computer, I'll log into mine, and we can chat just like you would uh, if you were on campus. Okay, so again, we may have a couple of review sessions throughout the semester, um, but more 
more often than not, I use it as my virtual office hours. Okay, that's a lot. That's 25 minutes. I know you're ready to get moved on and quit listening to me, but don't, don't think this is the last time you're going to see me. There's lots of videos. I think that's it. Okay, signing off. Good luck.